welcome to my car. Why are we in my car? Well, this was my haven when I was trying to figure out all of my voice acting tricks. And you should consider it too because this is your sound box. Anyone that could possibly judge you for what you're doing cannot catch up to you because no one behind you can see what you're doing, no one in front of you can see what you're doing, and no one driving past you can see what you're doing. And even if they did, they can't catch up to you now. Judgment is far from here. The only person who could be judging you right now is yourself. And you know what? You should love yourself. All right. Purring style number one. We're going to do this style because one, it is the loudest version, and two, I think it is the easiest. We're going to cut to the chase. If you can make the double R sound, R, voila, you have purred very, very shortly. Now we're going to extend it. R. Now just breathe that out. You don't have to say the R, just say. And voila, all right? You guys are bounds and leaps ahead of the other people. Now I'm going to go back to the other people. Just hold on for me. Now, other people who that's going too fast because you don't understand what they were doing with their tongue to say R. It's okay. Here we go. You are going to create a U with your tongue. And the edges of the tongue are going to, to line the edge of the top of your mouth, the bridge of your mouth. The tip of your tongue is not going to be touching the bridge of your mouth. It is going to be just relaxed on the edge. It can barely touch the top of your mouth or it can just be relaxed. It's fine. It can just hang out. So long as the tip of your tongue is relaxed, all right? Now, you are going to now combine them all together. All right, everyone is up to speed. We now can do We can all make that sound. Now, you may be thinking that that's not, that doesn't really sound like a cat purring, and we can make it sound more realistic. This is how we do that. We are going to close our lips over our teeth slowly, but watch what happens if you do this wrong. The purring stalls out. You pressed your lips too hard. You went like this. You need to relax your lips as well because if we have our lips relaxed, they will also vibrate like the tongue, slowly and relaxed. <sighs> Breathe harder, you get a louder purr. <sighs> Breathe harder for too long and your cheeks and your nose will start itching like the... Oh. <laughs> Oh, ha. But if that happens, you know you were doing it right. So congratulations. And it's just the sacrifice you have to do if you want to continue doing this style of purring. There is an advantage to this style though, because it is the more expressive one, the one that, cha that you can change the pitch. Therefore, you can almost have a cadence or a language. And because you can also, as, as I showed with R, is that you can add sound to it to make it even louder. So if you see someone across the room and you want to get their attention, then you can go And also, if you are in your car and a song pops up, this is the place to practice how to be more expressive at a con because all right you probably got it but if you didn't catch on again you can add sound to it as well should probably mention at this point that as a wildlife tech i have to drive out to my field work areas and so I have a lot of time alone in the car. Don't feel bad if you're not catching on. I have been doing this a lot. But that's all I have to teach you for this style. It's a very simple, very fun, energetic way to purr. I hope you had fun and you figured it out. If you did not figure it out, don't give up. 
keep trying. Next up will be purring style number two. So as always, do come back.